right, let's get started. Starting the call now, and then it'll be shortly time for the direct. Hello. We got multiple people in today. We've got Dakarilf. Actually, you know what? I'll let you all introduce yourselves. Uh, what's happening? What is happening? Well, that's a great question. <laughs> oh, no, it's uh, my, my... Yeah, are your microphone live? sounds oh, we, off. We are live. We are live. Yes. You can hear me, right? Yes, I can hear you. Your microphone sounds off, though. Oh, okay. So I guess that's what happened. Never. Hold on. <clears throat> Wrong microphone got connected. Uh, microphone got disconnected. Got it. Mm. Okay, getting my Twitch stream manager up. So I'm how's grab, like my killing your babies? Like, then you the, the 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 direct in a different window. I think. Yep. Sounds good. Uh, fix it oh that sounds much better okay yeah uh everyone go ahead and introduce yourself for anyone who's watching or gonna be watching the vod uh, i guess i'll start <laughs> uh i'm puppet master nine although my friends call me cody or dakota whichever's fine I guess I'm first on the thing, so I probably should have gone first. I'm Decorial. Uh I don't really have a present a presence elsewhere. But I'm gaming. I love gaming. Gaming uh, is I can't good. wait. I can't wait for them to announce uh the Switch Pro and Mario <laughs> Five and uh Twilight Princess H D Pro and Wind Waker H D. Okay, but they actually Plus, should they should port the and, HD versions. Uh, uh, Xenoblade X two. God, please don't tease me. Um, Xenoblade, Xenoblade X two, but it's an MMO. God, I will never survive. You'll never get me off that game. Yeah, oh, boy. Um, and and I hope they I hope they uh, announce. Um, I hope they announce Minecraft three. Three. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We got one more person to introduce themselves. Sorry. I'm Tactician Geek. Can I come after Dakarilf? All right. Um, also can, I, just, can I like, draw on the internet? Yeah. I'm not very good. Uh, also, just like. I, I don't know. This probably doesn't matter that much, but like, I, I do. I, I am feeling a little, like, congested right now, so. Ah, take care of yourself. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I am. But like, if my voice is off, that's that. That's why. I, I will try to speak clearly for streaming. But yeah, yeah, I'm in a similar boat. I've been dealing with a cough for like four months now. So. Ugh, Damn. prolonged coughs that just never go away. Those are the worst. Yeah, it's speculated that I might have asthma. Yeah. I got, I got sick right, like right before Christmas. It took me over a week to get over it. That's the longest I've been sick in years. Oof. Ha! I switch over to uh the direct window, and suddenly we are dropping frames. Let's go Twitch. Why are you dropping frames? Oh, you know why we're dropping frames? We're dropping frames because I'm trying to stream. Uh, you know. A, a window that's frustrating why are you having trouble you have not had trouble with this in the past why, why, why wouldn't it no that's that's network issues though it's giving network drops not okay apparently, look... a, apparently a bunch of people are getting the the issue of saying you're over the daily limit of sending tweets Oh, lovely. So it, sounds like, so it sounds like something new broke at Twitter. Good job, <laughs> Elon Musk! But yeah, Puppet Master 9 is a new guest on the stream. Uh, Dakariel and Tactician Geek have been here before. Good to have more friends around. 
People. 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 Surrounded by humanoids. All around me are familiar faces. Oh, faces. Oh. Uh, here. Let's see. All right. Uh, stream starts in like a minute, but anyone got any hope? Well, actually, no, we already discussed hopes, didn't we? Uh, we I mean, did... I, I, I said a bunch of things. You sure uh... did. Um, I'm expecting Pikmin 4 and Tears of the Kingdom. I'm hoping for initial look at the Xeno 3 story DLC. It's supposed to focus on stuff from the first half of the year, though. Yeah, and but the story, story DLC DLCs... isn't supposed to be until late fall. I thought it was early summer. Hang on, I'm pulling up the dates. Uh, first half of 2023. That's uh, primarily fo primarily focused on that. Okay, that's what the direct says. Yeah, so it doesn't necessarily exclude titles outside of that, but yeah, just yeah, mainly focused on that. Yeah, I at the very least, I would I'm hoping for a first look, even if it's not like detail. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, no, it says by end of year for the story, so maybe yeah, not. I don't, yeah, I don't think it had a. All right. Uh, the date, it was just sometime this year. Oh, it's starting. It is starting. Let's go. Oh, it's already started for me. I'm going to need to be adjusting that volume. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. It's starting. Yay, birthday direct. Happy I birth. Might a, I, I might be ahead of Pikmin! you Pikmin! Yeah, I'm way ahead of you guys. Uh... Hooray, streaming. Ooh. Oh, thank God, Pikmin 4 is real. It was almost ready for like 10 and years. Only, and it only took 10 years. It was yeah. almost ready for 10 years. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll watch on the YouTube stream because that seems to be like behind the Twitch stream. Okay. Look at the little baby! <gasps> Are those baby Snagrits? It might be. It I don't like... know if Snagrits have legs. They they do. At least one does in Pikmin 2. Okay. You're new? Oh, you are new. It's not just Brittany. So are there going to be four captains this time? God, I hope not. Let's go four-player multiplayer uh, story mode. Yo, Red Pikmin are back. I'm so shocked. I'm really glad they're keeping the merged onion. That was such a good feature in Pikmin 3. You can climb! What is this, Breath of the Wild? Ooh, collecting treasure this time. Has there ever been a green onion in Pikmin? No, Ooh. Ice Pikmin! Yeah, missed opportunity. <laughs> Ice Pikmin look pretty decent for combat. <gasps> Puppy! A bull buff. Hmm. Big puppy. Oh, that's a lot. That's at least four captains. Ochi. Commander Shepard. So, hmm. Oh my god, that is a funky disco ball BD long legs. Oh no, the Empress is back! Also, dungeons are back! Dungeons are back! <gasps> yes! Oh, I'm so excited! Oh my god! Let's go! So I'm assuming, like, a whole colony ship crashed? And you're collecting people as well? So what you're saying is this is P Xenoblade X, but Pikmin. Oh my god, it is. Now they're stuck on a whole nother plan a whole different planet. Wait, do you explore at night? Do you? That's Demon Bulb Orb! July 21st, I am writing that down. Hello everyone. I'm Shinya Takahashi. 
and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. That was the latest trailer for Picking 4. I'm real excited. A dog-like creature was spotted. What kinds of things will it show us? Please look forward to more information in the future. Why did I think Pikmin 4 had already had a date of April? Of Nintendo Switch headlines. Not sure. I don't know. This new hero is a real gem. Introducing oh, here we go! Hey. Masha! Looks like you meet her in the city. So, Agate? Whoa, roguelike? For every win, you learn more heroes and special abilities. Oh, interesting. Back up victories with your heroes and set your sights on the final stage. You might also get special in-game outfits as a reward. And oh my god. <laughs> Tie on his chin! <laughs> nice. Was that Elvis? That is Elvis. That's Shulk? That's Rex? Oh my god, Rex, you look fucking hot! <laughs> Shulk is pissed at Elvis. Lovely. Oh, oh, Play on his leg. Okay. Okay. So the how founder of House Fandom is Rex's grandkid. It sounds like. February fifteenth. I'm intrigued. Holy I am shit! Intrigued. <laughs> so it is. It is pre-origin slash into origin. Nice. Oh, I'm so excited. Older Rex is hot, and I'm not happy about it. Wow, I can't I, believe, I think... um, I forget, I forget what her name, but like that one artist who, uh, that, that's, that, draw, that wasn't, drew, drew that wasn't adult Rex old. with a goatee was right. That, that wasn't old Rex, or like grown-up Rex. Grown-up Rex we saw in the, in the, in the photo. Uh, that's Punished Rex. <laughs> it is Punished Rex. Make sure to show up in style, too. Compete online in World Party. Those with the lowest scores in each round. But we did see the founder of House Fandom. Yeah. So that we are definitely seeing the founders, and they were definitely alive when Rex and Shulk were alive. Wait, hmm, maybe not. Also, this kind of implicitly confirms that Elvis is console A, given Elvis is here and everyone's angry at him. Ooh, that yeah. is a good point. It's not confirmed, but it sure seems confirmed. For fashion. Welcome to Fashion Dreamer. This is the place to glam it up. And Why does this look yourself. like Tokyo Mirage you Sessions? To become a stylish influencer. Because it looks like it's in Tokyo. In Tons of people are seeking uh, it's the uh, it's the art style, but it looks a little bit more plastic than Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Yeah. At least a more plastic than what I remember. A lot it's very saturated oh that is a shiny dress ooh ooh that looks awful to wear then add a personal touch to give your item a final flourish you can get the items other people are wearing by liking them but anyway I can't believe Delfrex was confirmed <laughs> God, I, I, I want to see the entire Polycule being a happy Polycule. I want to see Nia just being in love with Pyra and Mithra and not just Rex. I want to see my boy. Then get styling when Fashion Dreamer debuts exclusively on Nintendo Switch this year. You're right. I do hope we get to see your boy. I can't believe they chopped his head off in the main game. Oh yeah. Huh. Yes. Interesting. Yeah, they announced this at the Game Awards. Yeah, Castlevania, uh, Dead Cells, everyone is here. Wield the vampire killer. 
and other iconic weapons as you vanquish legions of monsters and frenetic <laughs> he got the whip dangled 12 original covers and 51 songs from the castlevania series accompany you during your quest in Dead yo Cell. new castlevania Return music castlevania. i'm more hyped about that than the dlc <laughs> march 6th pre-orders begin today on nintendo eShop. God, I want to get back into Dead Cells. I haven't Enter seen a lot of the crossover stuff. A Tron game? Yo, Kingdom Hearts 4 prequel? Ha! lost as you navigate through a perilous world. Your decisions and the alliances you forge will impact your journey and the entire server. Looks like a VN. Launches first yeah. consoles on Nintendo Switch this April. Who's there? Yo! Yes! Oh my god, it's Yes! Holy shit, I wanted to play Ghost Trick for so long. About time this got boarded. Fuck yes! Oh, this is a good direct so far! Onto Nintendo Switch this summer. Summer, no date. Still, can look forward to it. One suspenseful thriller. An anime police. There's a few of these coming out, uh, coming up. Because I know Raincoat is also on the way. It's also an RPG. He's got shark teeth. Cat! Cat boy! Look at him! It looks like it's basically Persona 5, except instead of thieves, you're cops. Yeah! That's kind of what I'm getting out of this. Hey, East. Once upon a time, there was a witch and a demon. Oh, here we go, the Bayonetta prequel. Experience I could not be less interested in this, honestly. Seeking the power to rescue her imprisoned mother, she ventures deep into the Avalon forest ruled by fairies. I'm going to that forest! I'm going to become a witch and save mummy. There, she'll encounter the otherworldly demon Cheshire. You'll control both witch and demon at the same time. Harness Ceresa's magic and Cheshire's ferocity to travel through this mysterious and dangerous forest. Okay, I can think of a few games this, uh, this is similar to. Brothers. Hmm? Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. Yeah, that, and there was a couple of indies that were, a couple of other indies that they're coming to mind, but I can't remember their names. Yo, Midna Twilight Princess? <laughs> Uh, I know there was that one black and white game called Blanc that was supposed to be coming this month. I have the not heard of that one. Uh, the, I think it was that one co-op game where you play as a fox and a wolf, I think. Oh, that one, that one, that one. Just didn't have the name in my head. Bayonetta Origins, Cereza and the Lost Demon prowls onto the Nintendo Switch system March 17th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. How was that? Next, please take a look at this. Metroid Prime 4, new logo. Sploon! Sploomy! Was this going to be the Splatoon story DLC, or...? 
Maybe? Yeah, it is. Back to the subway. I hope we get something about Metroid Prime 4. It would be... Bizarre if we got nothing after this long. Well, not bizarre, more concerning. Well, they're, they're waiting for Tommy Tallarico to finish making the sound effects so that they ah. can design the weapons around them. You're right. And then they also got to make sure uh, to have enough praise ready for Tommy's mother. Oh! So you can return to the, pre to the previous... That's what it seems like. Platoon game, your stomping grounds. This is Booyah Base. It's got some pretty nifty weapons and gear. You might spot a few familiar faces alongside your oh. shopkeepers. Products here are the same <laughs> as the ones in Splatsville. So shop wherever you're. Oh, I like fried crumbs. <laughs> cool guy. <laughs> Table turf battle. The show. And amiibo functionality all work in the same way here too. Hello, Spike. Or no, wait, is that? Yeah, that's Spike. Yeah. Wait, Callie and Marie, Callie and Marie Splatfests? Yo! Sisters will also perform here during Splatfests. Oh, okay. Okay. Mix of old school and freshness. Then head over to Inkopolis. The first wave of this paid DLC launches this spring. Does it come with uh, fixing the Splatoon 1 stages that they ruined? I hope so. Oh, what's this? Black and white? No, that's more sepia. Hmm. Octo expansion two, probably. Gotta, we gotta return the color to the world. No, this is Marina. Platoon, de blob. Oh! At least I'm fairly certain that's Marina. Right, didn't she have a lot more backstory than expected? Uh, I mean, it's not entirely clear, but, like, she was... Uh, she was part of the Oct Octarian army. Mm -hmm. She heard Callie and Marie at the last... Was it the last boss or the last Splatfest? Uh, at the last boss of Splatoon 1, I think. Okay. Um, and defected. Yeah. Uh, Would be interesting if they uh, used the DLC to expand on that. Yeah, there's also some other stuff going on in Splatoon 3 that could be worthy of that could be DLC worthy, but I think when they announced Side Story DLC, they said that it they sh the the like the splash screen for it had uh, off the hook on it. So, uh, sorry uh, to interrupt. Wait, no, I think you were done. But um, the auto captions said, uh, "Not many people have played Splatoon 3." Thank you. <laughs> Just yeah. a random knot. Thank yeah, you. This, this game, this game looked good. <sighs> okay, gotta stop streaming or Disney's gonna murder me. No, I'm kidding. It's basic, like it, it looked like it's basically, uh, basically Rayman Legends, but Disney. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting a lot of that vibe. Yeah, it looks really good. The art style is not working for me. It's, I mean, it's, it's based on the the newer the, Mickey cartoons. Okay. Yeah, the, the uh, that series. But I, I honestly think that I honestly like the style. Like, it doesn't look like they've transferred it incredibly. Like, given how like the the movement doesn't quite seem to match the cartoon style mm -hmm. of movement. Like, it seems way more sluggish than I'd expect. It's a very low frame rate. I mean, that kind of makes sense. That looks like, like an artistic choice. Yeah. Yeah, like art, art well, like well, uh, animation uh, frames, not necessarily low frame, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like I, 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 if I, it looks like movement 
might be what characters might be animated in 24 fps and that that's probably what it is mm -hmm. yeah I'm, I'm not certain it might be a different number so that it fits more cleanly in the like the switch it because i don't know if the switch can display oh hey more fire emblem oh yeah the the fire emblem engage dlc i think i saw i think i saw fates boy it's marriage simulator He's so beefy. Soren. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so yeah, they're getting the. And Who's Soren from? Oh, Soren is Ike's husband. Oh, yeah, there's Camilla. Hi, Camilla. And then I think there was God, what's his name? All right, uh, Camilla's gonna breast boobily into the game. Yeah. Oh, really? Krom wasn't in the game? Nope. Uh, Lucina was the Awakening rep. Okay. Huh. And now we get Lucina's two dads. Well, they're definitely making up. Unlocked. Thank you for answering our prayers. Who is it that's putting your world in danger now? Watch out, assassin! Wave two of the Fire Emblem Engage expansion pass for the Fire Emblem Engage game launches on the Nintendo Switch system later. How many times can we fit the game's title into one sentence? Oh, it's coming today. Control of your destiny. Exciting. This looks a world in which deities know. Well, not the story DLC, but the extra some of the extra emblems. Mm -hmm. Harmony between Reverie and our world. The future of humanity hangs in the balance. In this narrative adventure, harness your divine gift of clairvoyance to travel between worlds, see the future, and decide humanity's fate. Many branching stories. I don't know. I don't want to see the future. Xenoblade One game made a compelling argument against that. Xenoblade Three more so. Eventually, you'll see. Then you can say, "I can see the future." Hey, was that a reference? I love references. Story's outcome. To which destiny do you aspire? Harmony: The Fall of Reverie launches first for consoles on Nintendo Switch this June. <laughs> These games will have you rolling. Octopath. That that joke did not work. Not in the slightest. I mean, I get what they were going for, but yeah, it uh, did not work. Eight new stories await. Which path will you take first? Who will your allies be? Right, hexadecimal path traveler. Venture through a brand new world. Shark. Path traveler two, launching on Nintendo Switch February twenty fourth. Hopefully it fixes some Yo! Octopath 1. Na, 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 na. Yes, we love Katamari. I wonder if we're ever going to get the, uh, I think it was the Xbox 360 Katamari ported. There was an Xbox 360 Katamari? Yeah, there was. Katamari. Yeah, there was an Xbox one and there was a PSP one. Yeah. Uh, I, I knew there was a PSP one. I didn't know about Xbox. Yo! Look, it's a, it's a Pac-Man ghost. Royal Reverie comes to Nintendo Switch June 2nd. In addition, active Nintendo Switch online members can play a free game trial of Katamari Damashi Reroll. Uh, what date did they say for Katamari? The powers of the sun and moon to uh, I didn't catch it. In this turn-based RPG. Oh? Is that an, is that an action command? World, meet characters from all walks of life and devastate foes. With oh, is this a I'm just happy. Enchanting melodies is and this... retro inspired tunes from the renowned Yasunori Mitsuda, a guest composer for the game. Ooh, Mitsuda. Sea of Stars sails onto Nintendo. Okay, Switch it's Sea of Stars. A free demo will launch later today on Nintendo eShop. Duke it out in this free to play online multiplayer. And it looks nice. Showdown. Form two teams. I was hoping for Chain Decos because I want to play that game. I keep hearing good things about it. Wait, no, hang on. That's already out on Switch, isn't it? I know it's already out on Steam. I don't know about Switch, though. Block areas to gain the advantage. 
Yo, Overwatch Air Hockey? What it looks like. Slides onto Nintendo Switch April 27th. Pre orders for this free to play game begin today on Nintendo eShop. This is gonna be, be better than uh, the new Mario Strikers, isn't it? A collection of the it's already guaranteed to be better than the new Etrian Odyssey, too. looks like. Switch, remastered in HD. Many oh, no, it's an Etrian Odyssey an collection. Labyrinth. Its paths are intertwined, and vicious monsters lurk in the shadows. I wonder how this is going to work on something other than the DS. Looks like they're just kind of embedding the touchscreen into the main screen. Because like I heard like, like this is a game that made heavy use of the, of the second screen. Mm-hmm. You can change your team and learn new skills to strengthen your party before challenging the labyrinth again. 24 newly drawn character illustrations are included. Plus, take advantage of new difficulty options and a new auto mapping function for smoother exploration. The easiest, the easiest difficulty is called Picnic. Collection launches on Nintendo Switch June 1st. Each game in the collection will also be available separately on Nintendo eShop. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Get your tactical skills. Yo, it's finally coming out. Oh, yeah, I heard I heard this I heard that the, apparently a rumor was this was finally going to come out. Yeah, it's already done, but it got delayed. Yeah, but they, they deleted it because of the Russian invasion. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I feel so bad for... Well, obviously, because feel apparent, feel far worse for Ukraine, but feel so bad for the developers. Apparently, the original release also had to get delayed because it was originally going to come out right after 9-11. Yeah. Yep. They delayed this because apparently the bad guys are essentially are very heavily based on Russia. Yeah, basically the first mission has a lot of uh, oh Kirby, of Russia's a current situation. Oh, this is the the Kirby, the new the Kirby remake. Ooh, Megalore Soul like explanation, I guess. Traveler from the main adventure has lost his powers and must escape the realm between dimensions. Okay, so there's a they're adding a post game like uh like uh you play as Forgotten Land had. Oh god, one of my other friends is putting bets on uh Advance Wars getting delayed again due to some new crisis. Ugh, I hope not. Yeah. Improve Magalore's levitation or increase his attack range. The order in which you restore his powers is up to you. There are That's over neat. 20 interdimensional stages to explore. God, I'm still so surprised they're doing a roguelike for the uh, second half of challenge mode. For yeah. uh, Xeno 3. That explains, it explains the screenshots of being able to directly control heroes. Yeah. Can Magalore restore his powers and safely return to his world? See, so, new after clearing story mode. Uh, do we know if uh, Return to Dreamland Deluxe has online multiplayer for the, like, for, I don't know, for just, like, anything? I have not been following it, so... Okay. I would hope so. Yeah, because if, if it does, I might honestly be interested in, in, in getting it mm -hmm. and, like, playing, playing with people, potentially, but... Could be fun. Oh? We are shutting it down and, re uh, and taking away all of your games. Okay, boy! Hey, nice. Give me Does Donkey Kong 94, expansion please. Pass. Game Boy games are being added to God, I hope it doesn't require expansion for Game Boy. Oh, Mario. A DX hack of this Mario. Oh, wait. That, 
Link's Awakening is already on Switch. Let's introduce yeah, but this one is uh, worse. Tetris. Arrange the falling Tetris. Donkey Kong 94. Donkey Kong 94. Super Mario Land 2, six golden coins. Not Super Mario Land 1, though. <laughs> You're not allowed. Super Mario Land 1 isn't very good. I mean, yeah, but it's funny. Chugga beat it in one episode, so. And 2 is definitely the better game. Oh, that box art looks terrifying. What is with that face? Oh, Game & Watch. Oh, right, because Link's Awakening, yes. The new nightmare. Right. Solve a murder mystery on the supernatural Shadow Island. Metroid 2, Return of Odd pick, but okay. Destroy the Metroids hiding on planet SR388. Hey, I can finally play Metroid 2. I've Wild tried playing this game. I couldn't do it. <laughs> Yo. Based on your actions. Kirby's Dreamland. Float, inhale, and spit out enemies <laughs> in Kirby's debut title. <laughs> First Kirby game. <laughs> you can use the game Where's Boy Kirby Air Ride? Game Boy Pocket or Game Boy Color Screen Filters. Up to two players can play compatible games together. Better have all the online. screen filters and not just that one. More games will be added in the future. Oh, the Oracles! Hey, I want a trading card game, card game, but no like RBY. Game Boy fans, let's go! Oh shit! Oh yeah! Give me Superstar yeah. Saga! Give me... Minish Cap! Minish Cap! Fire Emblem. Hell yes! Minish Cap. Here are the games that you can play at launch. <laughs> Wait, we already have... Super we have two Mario different versions of Mario Bros. 3 already. <laughs> it's, the, it's, the, uh, it's the version of uh, Super Mario Bros. 3 I played. It also has the e-reader. Ooh! No. Micro, uh, Mega Micro Games. Nice! Hey, the best game on the system. Kuru, kuru, kuru in. Guide the spinning stick to the goal without Ooh. hitting obstacles. I'm pretty sure I've heard of this game. Mario oh my god, Super Circuit, my first, first Mar Mario, Mario Kart. The first Mario Kart game. The first one I ever played. Yes, yeah, Superstar Saga, let's go! Hey, nice. What about the Golden Sun? Shrink to miniature size and dive into a big adventure. Have you been well, watching NCS's LP of this? I have not been watching NCS for a while, unfortunately. Mm. It's been pretty interesting. More games Fire Emblem, Metroid Fire Fusion. Emblem. Uh, Blazing Blade, I think? Or is that... Hey, Golden Sun. Amazing Blazing Mirror? You can play these Game Boy no, okay, free. Game Boy Advance's expansion, Game Boy is regular. Uh, Game Boy and Game Boy Advance um, honestly, that's I mean, fair. I mean, honestly, I'd be willing to... Like, cause, since we're doing it together, I'd be willing to help pay if you wanted to switch to expansion. Yeah, if people are willing to chip in, I'd be willing to upgrade our uh, our subscription to the expansion pass. You'll be able to play the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance titles we introduced. Please look forward to more information about Nintendo Switch Online and Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack in the future. Let's see a few more headlines. A few more. Okay, we're not. We got eight minutes. The Yo! Metroid Prime Remastered! Nintendo what? Shit. Okay, I'm holding off on playing that till the remaster's out. Oh no, don't tell me it's only the first game, please. They said only the. They said first game. Fuck. <laughs> Maybe the rest will come with time. Whoa, well, but I this. Mean, that, oh, that this makes... looks like a. It this looks is like an actual remake. Wow. This is okay. gorgeous. Uh, this does it does make some sense that the uh, that they at least like three wouldn't like. I think, I think a dev from I forget who, but I think someone who was involved with three's development uh, said that like taking the Wii the Wii stuff and putting it on Switch would be extremely difficult. Or they could just make Prime Hack Cannon. They could, but like, um, if you, uh, uh I, I don't know if you, if this was something you saw, but one of, one of our, one, one of, someone I, uh, who was playing Prime Hat that I, that I'm, that I know online, uh, said that like, it only works 
go well with Prime 3 because there's the game expects motions that you can't really replicate. Like okay, you have like need like needing to flick and stuff that you can't do accurately with mm. a mouse or controller. Fine. Well, yeah, I guess I guess I'm also going to be holding off on playing uh, Metroid Prime to play it on the Switch instead. Yeah, this yeah. looks like a an actual remaster, like or yeah. an actual remake, rather, yeah, rather than just. Keep them in your sight. Rather than just like a Twilight Princess HD type of thing. I hope they kept the thing where you can look up and get rained on. Oh, they better. Uh, I hope it has the ice beam effects, unlike the Wii version. Because they had to, like, cut out a lot of the, the arm cannon effects as a result of the Wii pointer. Yo, twin stick, thir uh, twin, sp twin stick controls. Oh. I'll probably just use the classic control scheme, but good to know it's there. The digital version of Metroid Prime Remastered digital? launches on Nintendo eShop later today. today! Physical version Yo. Of the game oh, wow. Okay. And the 20th. February 22nd for the physical. Yeah, well, dang, it's too bad my nice. birthday already happened. Oh, hey, here's Raincode. I was wondering where this was. This is the world it's not dang it, Ron Paul. Yuma, a trainee detective. I'm so mixed on whether or not to get this game. I want it because I like Danganronpa. I don't want it because a lot of it's just giving me off vibes. But then it's from the Danganronpa team. It's basically Danganronpa with little kids. Oh, did I just see Byakuya? <laughs> it's Byakuya clown. Oh my god, is that a, so a soda? But if he was in uh, Ultimate Despair, amazing. God, what, what if it turns out that this is actually in the same universe as Ding and Ronpa? <laughs> that would be interesting. Also, like, I'm just not sure how I feel about how the gameplay looks. Yeah. Master Detective Archives Rain Code launches on Nintendo Switch June thirtieth. Wings of the Heart take flight once more. On Kaidos. Oh my God! Really? Holy shit! One and two. Oh baby. Well, I know uh, John's gonna be excited about this. Yeah, no kidding. But the question is, are Monolith Soft involved with it? I don't think this has origins, though. Can't wait. I can't wait to spend two weeks waiting for one item to be created. Ha! Battles are fought using cards called Magnus. Your attack power is determined by the attributes and combinations of the cards. and Elegy. I only know the song because of Smash. In these real-time battles, you'll need to make split-second decisions to edge closer. Oh boy, to a deck-building game. What revelations will come to light in the skies above and the lands below? Botan Kaido's summer HD remaster soars onto Nintendo Switch this summer. Looks like it is Bandai working on it. Yeah, they, they originally published it, so it makes yeah. sense. Oh, Fantasy Life 2? Live the life you want in a new Fantasy Life game. Now, you can't steal time. That's very rude. Okay, just casually, I'm gonna send you back in time. Have fun! To make the island your own. Yeah, you can take your Game Boy with you. Blow people's minds with it. Devilry, witchcraft. Years, the restoration is about to begin. 
fantasy life on the girl who steals time. I'm guessing Zelda will be the last announcement. Absolutely. Steampunk? Layton! Oh, Layton. Fuck, yes. Welcome back, Professor Layton! Level 5's working on it! That's what they've been up to. Oh, come on, don't just give us more. Okay, but it exists. It's coming. Ooh, Yoshi's Island. Or, uh, right. Track. Nice. Oh, this is a pretty course. Yoshi. Yoshi's Island, I would hope it's pretty. Yoshi. Hey, Birdo. Welcome back, Birdo. She wasn't in the base game? Shit. Yeah, I, I didn't know she wasn't in the base game either. Oh, she has different color teams, too. Are you only going to show us once one? Nintendo Switch Online Plus expansion pack members can enjoy this DLC at no additional cost. The DLC can also be purchased on its own. Are they really only showing us the one course? Oh, Sizzle Reel. Yes! Oh Battle Network uh, Collection. I can't wait. Coming out Valentine's Day. Oh, it was a fox and a deer. That was it. A fennec fox, specifically. Mm -hmm. Very pretty art style. Pop. Looks like it'd be a little hard on the eyes after a while. Yeah. Oh, that font is awful. Uh, it's not as bad as the Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster font, at least. Fair. God, yeah, I think that apparently they redrew all of the card art for the legacy collection they uh kind of a lot of the card art was originally like hand illustrated and then pixelized for the games so where that card art exists they're putting that in the game but where it didn't exist they're remake they're making the card art as if it had always been there mm -hmm. All right, they did announce Symphonia Remaster. Yeah, it's it's a remaster of like the PS3 version though, which mm. I hear is not the best version. Thank you for staying with us so far. All right, Tears of the Kingdom time. We'll Sell me on yeah. the game, finally. Zoldo. They are not going to uh, prediction. They're not going to show any gameplay. Oh my God! There's rain. I'm sold. Congratulations, you're gonna struggle with climbing again. Yo, they're having a party over at the towers. I love my, I love the Ubisoft towers. Let's glad that they're having a rave. Is this underground? Rise, Looks rise, like it. Doesn't look like it necessarily. Ganondorf voice acting. Ganondorf sounds very angry. His voice sounds familiar somehow. Oh, very familiar. I need to find out who that voice actor is. Oh! Hate that! Okay, so it is, it is the same- CUBES! Ooh. But Link, I am not sure. Like, you it's really dehydrated Ganondorf. Yo, is that a Skyward Sword outfit? Uh, I didn't, I didn't think so. Uh, that looks, looks, like, no, looks just like the Breath of the Wild outfit. Ah, you're right. Ooh. Nazca Ooh, rail lines. Grinders. Rail grinding. Link now has a mechanical arm. You have a car! You have a- Oh my god! 
<laughs> Wait, do they have ve like crafting or or like vehicle building? I got big nuts and bolts vibes out of that. To be honest, I was gonna say the same thing. We're Legend of Zelda nuts and bolts. Let's go. That's so funny. Please lend me your power. I can't believe Zelda's going to die immediately. The Legend of Zelda denied our playable Zelda once again. In the Legend of Zelda series. In addition to the standard version, a collector's I'm still not completely sold on it, unfortunately. I enjoyed Breath of the Wild, but I don't feel like they've shown enough. Well, I mean, they, yeah, they, they've shown fucking nothing, but like, yeah, they haven't. Yeah, they've basically all the gameplay they've shown. It looks it's. Breath of the Wild again. Yeah. Except for kind of the car, which like... Yeah. Except for nuts and bolts! Yeah. Which like... Which is a problem, because like, if they don't improve on Breath of the Wild's combat in some capacity, like, that's a huge problem. Yeah, a lot of people are not going to be happy about that. All right. Overall, I was happy with the direct. I'm definitely going to go back and on my own time rewatch the uh, Xenoblade Three stuff. Yeah, I'm 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 going to spend so much time analyzing that. But yeah, what everyone else think about it? I think it looked pretty. I, I think thought it, I thought it was pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm I think I I'm excited about the Kirby. Mm. Um. Uh. At least I think the Kirby stuff looked good. Mm -hmm. um, I think I don't know. I think the excited that we that we got some level of uh, Xenoblade Three news, mm -hmm. um, in particular that we got something that was actually uh, story related. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I don't know. I think I think overall it looked. Uh, I don't know. Um, I'm excited about. I think the Game Boy and Game Boy stuff is cool. I kind of wish there was more. Um, yeah. But uh, like. I don't know. I think it was overall, I think it was decent. Mm -hmm. Like, there's definitely some stuff that I would I would have preferred not been the case. This thing sheer force. I feel like That's... overall my thoughts are Why a little mixed sheer force? about the direct. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I'm, I'm excited about mm -hmm. Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, Metroid Prime remake looks good. Oh yeah, that 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 too. Metroid Prime remake is is exciting. No Prime Four though. Yeah, of course not. Yeah, I mean, that, that's probably exciting. the reason why there is no Prime. That's probably the reason why we're getting Prime remake to yeah. fill in the gap for Prime Four. Yeah, it was, pro it was probably made as like a as like a test run for the Switch hardware, similar mm -hmm. to how The Last of Us Part One was made by Naughty Dog to test out the PS Five. Mm -hmm. Uh. Uh, man, there was one other game that I was interested in. Uh, it's not coming to mind for some reason. Uh, Ghost Trick being ported is a good. Is good. I've been meaning to play that game. Yeah, yeah I've, I've heard. Uh, I've heard that it's good, but I basically know nothing about it. I've seen a let's play of it and enjoyed it greatly, and I can't wait to play it myself. Also, the uh, Pikmin Four. Yes, that was cool. Yes, they brought dungeons back. I'm so excited about that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Xenoblade story DLC that has me intrigued greatly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Al Alvis is uh... Alvis is said A to Z. Yeah. Uh, aside from those four things, though, there wasn't really anything else that I was particularly stoked for. Uh, I know the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance stuff is there, but uh, mm -hmm. the games that were featured were either games that I already owned or games I just didn't have any interest in playing. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, Tactician Geek, your thoughts? I like it. You know, I you know the 
uh, Xenoblade 3 story, the Xenoblade 3 DLC looks good, both the roguelike challenge battle mode and our little preview of the story DLC. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, I liked, uh, and, uh, Fire Emblem mm -hmm. DLC was good to see. Uh, all the DLC emblems had been, uh, had been uh, data mined, unfortunately. Ah. But it's nice to see them in action. Um, Game Boy and Game Boy Advance on Switch Online uh, has been a long time coming, and I'm glad to see it. Mm -hmm. Um. And uh. And yeah, also you know um. Metroid Prime remake looks good. Like, uh, that's definitely changing my stream plans. Because mm -hmm. uh, I was originally planning on streaming uh, Metroid Prime soon, but uh, I guess I'll wait. Like, ah, though I don't really have a way to stream the the Switch because I don't have uh, two because I don't have two different screens that I can uh, that I can use to both watch the game and uh, stream it could try and figure something out with that definitely yeah. streaming can get a little bit finicky with all the screens you got to manage oh yeah bots and kaitos i forgot that was announced uh, yeah 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 i guess okay i guess that is another thing that i'm a little excited for mm -hmm. i think personally i was interested in at least about a third of what they showed which is good and then everything else they showed not necessarily for me but like not bad. I'm excited for the people who are excited for it, for everything else. I wish they'd done more to sell me on Tears of the Kingdom, because they've still shown fucking nothing. Uh, I'm intrigued by the story, but not enough. Yeah. I need I need something to get me to think that it's going to be not just Breath of the Wild 2, but like an actual like evolution of Breath of the Wild's formula. Uh, my more optimistic take on that is that they probably don't want to reveal too much about the game just so uh, that just to keep a lot of it a surprise fair i might wait until i have friends telling me what they think about the game before i get it yeah but yeah no i i enjoyed the direct i it could have been better maybe but like i liked quite a bit what was in it and everything else i'm excited for the people who are excited so i'm happy with it yeah. All right, well, thank all of you for joining me for this. This was a lot of fun. Uh, and I will talk to everyone later. Later, people. Bye. Bye.